Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechsHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and today may turn into the final day of our September heat wave as we've got a pretty big cool down on the way over the next seven days and also what uh, may turn into some heavy rain in spots, so a lot to cover in your forecast. Uh, don't expect too many changes today. We do have a, a few little changes for us. Temperatures will be just a touch cooler, but still overall on the warm side. You see most of us starting out this morning in the upper 60s and low 70s as we did have uh, some rainfall move through last night, kind of cool things down. Pinpoint Doppler showing uh, everything quiet this morning. Rain has moved north of the region to begin the day here and you see the big change all that dry air getting shoved back to the north here as the uh, sea breeze really kicked in yesterday and that's why we did see some of that rainfall make its way in and that will be a possibility again today so put that rain chance uh, about 30% for us this afternoon. That number will keep going up as we head into the weekend so look at satellite and radar across the region. Left hand side of your screen you see we do have that cold front making its way down uh, from the Rocky Mountain states here and that is the cold front that is going to to bring us our rain chance and cool down as we head through the weekend here. That said, still a pretty warm day today. Low to mid 90s for most of us. Should be about 91 in Marshall. About 92 in Jefferson this afternoon. Shreveport Bossier up to uh, 94 degrees. Sea breeze kicks in a little bit earlier today so it should make it up to 91 in Manny and across southern Arkansas. It'll take a little while for the rain to get up to you today and if the cloud cover as well. So we actually see some of the warmer temperatures today across Arkansas. 93, 94. Pretty common number for you. So let's take a look at future cast here sunshine this morning and as we've seen the past few days eventually we'll see the cloud cover pop up this afternoon and that 30 percent rain chance uh, there you have it right there with the rain kicking up maybe initially across louisiana and texas and then shifting up into southern arkansas and just kind of scattered nature of the rainfall some of us haven't seen a single raindrop this week some of us have had rain two or three days and that's the way it will continue today but if you've missed the rain so far this week i do think you'll have a higher chance of seeing it both friday into saturday here comes that cold front so we may have some rain ongoing uh, Friday morning across maybe northeast Texas, McCurtain County and our rain chances will start to go up later in the day Friday and I think especially through the weekend this is the GFS or American models representation of uh, how quickly the front will move here and notice it does shift east of the region as we get into the day on Saturday so that's a pretty quick model run is what we would call that. The European model actually keeps that front draped over the Arkle Texas as we go through the weekend so that will keep the scattered rain chances in Saturday, Sunday and even going into next week we've got another cold front on the way next Wednesday as well. So we've got decent rain chances uh, really Friday through next Wednesday and you see the forecast models now picking up on uh, some heavier rainfall there as we could possibly see some locations pick up over three inches of rain. That will that will be over the next seven days. That's not all coming in one day but rather just kind of spread out. So at this point don't anticipate any flash flooding concerns but that could change so make sure you check back with us and notice that heavy rainfall was kind of set up across the I-20 corridor. That wouldn't be a bad thing for us as it would kind of help eliminate some of those severe and extreme drought conditions that we still have in place. So uh, a lot of potential beneficial rainfall over the next seven days. And I think the best part of all, everybody has been looking forward to that cool down. There it is. This weekend should have highs in the low to mid 80s. That will carry into next week, 85 next Wednesday. But that's the uh, next big cold front making its way in. Looks like Wednesday, Thursday time frame. So I think next Thursday, Friday, we'll have highs uh, probably in the 70s in a lot of locations and overnight lows in the 50s. And you'll see those numbers start to appear on the seven-day forecast when you check in with uh, Todd tonight and back with us as we go through the day tomorrow. Thanks for uh, checking with us this morning. Have a wonderful Thursday.